What a god awful angle. What's up, guys? In today's episode of Rachel Fucks Up, I am on my way to go get stuff to make a cheesecake. Yes, you heard that right. A cheesecake. I think it should be really interesting. It should be really fun. Cheesecake is so yummy. I don't think my house has anything for cheesecake, really, so I might need to be buying a lot of stuff. <laughs> Okay, let's okay. go. Okay, so I just got to Safeway, and if you're wondering if the Safeway is like three hours away, which is why it's freaking nighttime now since I made that intro, no, it's not three hours away. Here's a true story, and I want you guys to buckle yourselves in because it's a bumpy one. So, a s lighting. Okay, this will have to do for a quick story time. I was driving to Safeway from my house, and I accidentally missed like the turn to go to Safeway and when I say missed that's really stupid because Safeway is in the opposite direction of what I was going to so let's say I live in the middle right like I live here Safeway's here and then I went in this direction and I kept going and didn't even realize that I had gone in the completely opposite direction into a new town than I was supposed to have gone and so when I finally did realize it, I was really close to the gym that I usually go to, which is in this town over here. So I just ended up going to the gym for about an hour and a half, and now I'm at Safeway, which is why it's dark now. That was a true story. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat the oven, 325, pretty plain and simple. Then you're definitely going to want to say hi to any gypsies you have laying around in your kitchen so it's not awkward while you guys are baking. Um, so I have my dad in this case and if you guys saw that, he was eating a whole fish. If you're Asian, you'll understand. Okay, so the next thing that I do is go in making the crust. So you make the crust by putting a bunch of graham crackers into a plastic bag. I'll give you guys the exact ingredient measurements later, but for now, bear with me. So I kind of struggled putting it in there for a second, huh? and that's what she said. But then the real fun began. You get to crush and smash and be Hulk. It's really quite exciting. My mom saw what a great time I was having and decided to join me on my adventure. We had a great time. We really bonded. We were both really invigorated and felt really powerful at the end. We really just did our best and put our best foot forward, and I think in the end, it really paid off. So, the crust was fantastic, and I highly recommend our methods. I was going to talk more about, like, the process of making cheesecake, but I really kind of go into more in-depth detail at the end. So, for now, I think I'll just, like, kind of go back and forth and talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about, you know what I mean? <laughs> Also, that black thing that you just saw was sea cucumber. I live in an Asian household with a bunch of Asian people, so we have things like sea cucumber just laying around. We'll also sometimes have like chicken head, you know, chicken feet, every part of a chicken that you can think of, just in my fridge instead of like ice cream or a bagel. We'll have, we'll have chicken parts. So this next part is like one of my favorites because it's really authentic to my style. Um, I did not know how to like measure seven tablespoons of melted butter with, you know, the butter not being melted because it's going to be different. So I just scooped a bunch of butter into a little bowl, melted it, and then hoped that like the melted version would equal seven tablespoons. Um, that's just, that's just me. I, you should probably find a better way to do that but I went with this okay so as you can see I have all my scooped -ed butter and then I'm melting it um then the fun begins I get to see if my estimation was accurate and that's what being a scientist is all about you know what I should do I should totally like make stuff for my neighbors once I move into my new apartment and like just knock on everybody like knock on everybody's door that lives on the same floor as me and hand out cookies I feel like that'd be really nice of me, you know? I mean, they might be creeped out, but at the same time, like, loving. 
So my estimations weren't that off. It wasn't exactly seven tablespoons of butter, especially after I kind of spilled some of it. But I could not be bothered to make more melted butter. I fucking hate making melted butter. Like, I don't feel like there's more of a waste of time than making melted butter. And then now I'm getting these, like, pans to put my crust in. Um, also, I don't think I show this, but once the crust is all made, I put it into the oven until, like, my, um, my filling is ready. Because that's just kind of my thing that I like to do. I like when it is more cooked because then it just tastes, like, everything just tastes better. You know, all the flavors really come through and they, they swirl in your mouth and they make a really, like, delicate delicate palette for your tongue and everything is just so delicious I just started getting into like reading again like I read two books in the span of a week which I thought was pretty cool of me I'm not gonna lie they're pretty long too you know what I mean like not a big deal but the last one that I just finished is where the crawdads sing which I highly recommend like highly highly recommend so does Reese Witherspoon because it was in her book club and they're making a movie out of it and I'm so excited to play the part of Kaya, which I am playing the part of. I brought that up because baking this made me feel like Kaya, you know, a marsh girl just living in the wild, really just doing her own thing and making food to survive. You're gonna get me eye cream? Yeah. For Let wrinkles? See. Let me see. There's no wrinkles. Oh, there's wrinkles everywhere. Emotional wrinkles too, because yeah, you stressed me out. You stressed me You're stressing out. me out right now. I'm getting a hernia. Um, so look at that. My mom is filming for me. She's actually contributing something positive to my life. Just kidding. My mom has given me life. So that's pretty cool. This section of the voiceover, actually, the sections from starting when I got the sugars out of the cabinet are kind of rough because I have the weirdest stomach problem right now. Do you guys know when like you feel like you have to poop but you feel it in your booty hole and not just your stomach? That is precisely what I'm going through right now and I don't have to poop so like I don't understand what's happening. I like I don't get when that happens. Why do I feel it in my asshole if there's nothing there, you know? I think I like told myself I wanted my channel to be family friendly but I just threw that dream right out the window with my career uh, but like what career <laughs> you guys i can't even stress to you how hard it was to mix this all together like i thought that i let the cream cheese sit out long enough for it to be melted enough but that shit was rough like it took all my strength to really just get everything mushed together and it still was barely enough like it's a rock i was trying to lift the spoon yeah no we're out of eggs. I didn't buy eggs because we're never out of eggs. Oops. You're kidding. Finish it tomorrow. I can't. Yeah, you can finish it. There's already in the You're absolutely kidding. That's a joke. Okay. I didn't know it did. Can I make this without eggs, do you think? Try it. But if it fails, that's a waste of a lot of ingredients. Yeah, you try it. I don't know. How much how many eggs you I'm gonna you Google know? it. How many eggs you it's expired? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> what do I do? Just do it without. Without eggs at all? Do we have tofu? Because it says I can use tofu. No. Just open it and see. Oh, goodness. It's good. It kind of smells like Chinese food. No. It said I could use a fourth of a cup of yogurt for every egg. How so that's eggs? four eggs, so that's a cup of yogurt. Yeah. So, oh, that was quick math. Oh, um, wow. I have so many things going on right now. That's not a coyote. Yeah, what that's is it? A fox. Fox, though? That's not a coyote. Yeah, we got that, yeah. It's a fox. Yeah. It's in the oven. I didn't film 
You see that spit bubble that just formed? I didn't film like the last processes of this is because it got too frustrating trying to mix whatever that was and film at the same time. So I, I didn't get that footage. But now we are going to discuss some things that went wrong. The crust actually went pretty well, except for the fact that I don't think I put enough butter. So when I was pouring the mixture in, you could like, I was trying to spread the mixture, like the filling into the crust when I took it out of the oven, it was kind of crumbling in some places. So I think I could have used more butter to make them stick better. I didn't have my tablespoon measurement thing, you know? And you can't just measure like seven tablespoons of unmelted butter because it's not gonna be the same as seven tablespoons of melted butter. I had to like just scoop a bunch of butter and then just hope that what I scooped when I melted it, it would be seven tablespoons. Not the best way to do things, but that's how I ended up doing things. And I think it was too little and I could not be bothered to make more. Melting butter is one of my least favorite pastimes. So for the crust, it is one and a half Huh? one and a half cups of graham crackers, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and seven tablespoons of melted butter. Now for the filling. Let me just let me just start by saying I made cheesecake before and it turned it out. It turned it out. It turned out fabulous if I do say so myself and everybody else who ate it said so at themselves too so I went by this new recipe because I just kind of want to try a new cheesecake I should have stuck to what I know best which is the old recipe but I didn't do that so this recipe called for 32 ounces of cream cheese then I did one cup of sugar I did two-thirds cup of sour cream and then four eggs okay so I always go out when I go grocery shopping and I buy eggs and it turns out my house has eggs so we always have a surplus of eggs so this time I stopped myself at the grocery store and I said you know what you know what I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna contribute to this surplus of eggs so I didn't purchase eggs just so happened that this one time I don't buy eggs we don't have eggs so um I didn't have eggs but then I googled and it said you could use tofu or yogurt or cornstarch you know i don't think i really needed eggs to be honest so i could have just tried to do it without it because now it turned into whatever that is that's in there roasting i didn't do the vanilla or the eggs and i didn't do the vanilla because the yogurt i used was vanilla so i didn't think i needed that much extra vanilla but i did <laughs> i did a cup because online it said to use a fourth of a cup for every egg which is four eggs so that's one cup so i did a total of a cup of yogurt Pretty sure it was expired. It definitely was expired. That's it for this video, how to make cheesecake. Take a bite. Tell me what you think. Wow, it looks good. Ooh, it did it looks good. like cheesecake, right? Yeah, it did become. Okay, please take a bite. White. Right, this is the one that without the egg, huh? Yeah. Oh. The texture is good. Mmm. This tastes like cheesecake. It does? I think it's better than cheesecake. Yeah! Oh, it's more creamy. Because of the yogurt. Yeah, and it's more of the milky. Nice. Kind of like um, aftertaste. Nice. Mmm. Nice. This is about cheesecake for nice. sure. Nice. Ooh. I'm going to have another bite. This is good. Yeah. And the crust is so good. Yeah. Mmm, my coffee. Nice. 